Hello and welcome to lesson number two of playing Ghostbusters. Last week we looked at our sliding part and the little intro um, melody, riff, if you want to call it that. This week we're going to be looking at the five chords part and the part, um, the single note part in the chorus as well. So. Let's get straight into this. I'm going to play this along with the track first, so you can hear which parts you're going to be playing today, and then we're going to break it all down. So let's get straight into this now. First things first, we're going to be wanting to find a B5 chord from our E string. So let's go through the process of finding the B notes on our E string. So we've got open as E, first fret is F, second fret is F sharp, third fret G, fourth fret G sharp, fifth fret is A, sixth fret is A sharp, and there you go, there is your B note at the seventh fret of your E string. So we're going to put our first finger on the B note and we want to make a B5. And this time, whether you use your pinky or your third finger for this particular song, I want you to use your pinky to play the note on the A string to make it a five chord. So remember what that is, two frets along, one string down. There you go. So we've got our first finger on the uh, seventh fret of your E string and our pinky on the ninth fret of your A. And we're just gonna go. So down, down. Down, down. Just play along with me. Down, down. Down, down. Two, three, four. 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 Now it doesn't just play it over and over again like that, but I just want you to get used to doing those down strums. After that, we're going to go to an A5. So let's work out how to get an A5 by going backwards from this B. So before B, on the 6th fret, and keep your 5 chord shape the same, we're just going to slide it along. On the 5th fret, sorry, the 6th fret, behind B would be an A sharp 5, and we're looking for an A5. So that means the 5th fret is A5. Now the reason I've asked you to use your pinky, because we're going to stretch back one more fret. So I'm going to move these fingers out of the way. Don't tuck your fingers down like me here. I'm just doing it so you can see what my fingers are doing. So we're going to play A5 and then you're going to slide just one of your fingers, your first finger to the fourth fret of your E string. So with me, then slide the first finger along the fourth. See the pinky same where it is. And the first finger's moving from the fifth to the sixth. Right, so let's put those two parts together now. So on the B5, starting first, I'm gonna play it really slow so you can play along with me. One, two, three, four. There you go, there is the first part of this. So it just plays round and round and you'll know which part of the track that's in as you're listening and playing. 
Now we get into the chorus and we get this part. Now that's a chromatic run like that. We're just going to do two notes. Just a simplified version because it won't be at that level just yet to get that quick. That quick um, chromatic run there. So for this we're going to go to the G string 7th fret and we'll, that's going to be our 1st finger and then you're going to go to the ninth fret of your D string with your 3rd and just play that over and over again so 1, 2, 3, 4 so you're doing it 4 times I'll play it slow, play it 4 times with me 1st finger, 7th uh, fret of your G string and then your third finger, ninth fret of your D. See the first note is long and the second note is nice and short. Two, three, four. And then you're just gonna play after that, seventh fret of your D string to the ninth fret of your D. Then you just go back to your five chord part. And there is all of Ghostbusters there. So I hope you've enjoyed playing that. It's a really, really fun one to play, especially when you get used to playing it along with the track. And I will see you in next week's lesson.